Hi everyone, this is Medicine Made Easy, where we save you from the pain of reading books without really understanding them. Today, we are continuing our discussion on the peritoneum. If you have not yet gone through our previous video where we provided a clear picture of what the peritoneum is, please make sure to check it out before watching this one. Now, let's start talking about the greater and lesser sac. The peritoneal cavity is, essentially, a cavity bound by the parietal peritoneum and physical peritoneum. It can be further divided into the greater sac and lesser sac. The greater sac, shaded in red here, is the larger portion of the peritoneal cavity, which starts from the diaphragm and extends to the pelvic cavity. The lesser sac, shaded in blue, is also called the omental bursa. It is the smaller portion of the peritoneal cavity and lies posterior to liver and stomach. Done! It's that simple! Now, off to the mesentery. Mind you, the mesentery is in fact considered an organ instead of just some connective tissue. And it is actually just a grand word referring to a double-layered visceral peritoneum that attaches our intestines to the posterior abdominal wall. It is also called the mesocolon. In real life, this is what the mesentery looks like. It can be further divided into seven portions, including the small bile mesentery, which is small bile, the mesoappendix, shown here, the ascending mesocolon, which is flattened against the posterior abdominal wall, the transverse mesocolon, which is mobile, the descending mesocolon, which is also flattened against the posterior abdominal wall, the mesosigmoid, which is partly mobile and partly flattened, and the mesorectum, which attaches to upper one-third of the rectum. For the small bowel mesentery, it arises from the root of mesentery at the posterior abdominal wall. It is directed obliquely from the left side of L2 vertebra to right sacroiliac joint. It extends from the duodenal jejunal flexure to the ileocecal junction. For the others, such as the mesocolon and mesosicomoid, they terminate their insertion into the posterior abdominal wall separately. Then what's its function? For the mesentery, it stores fat. And within it, there are blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves that supply the intestines. So, in summary, the peritoneal cavity can be divided into the greater sac and lesser sac. And the mesentery is an organ which attaches intestines to the posterior abdominal wall. It stores fat, and within it, there are blood vessels, lymphatics, and nerves to supply the intestines. 